the build show today, I've got a celebrity plumber with me and we're talking about this right here. This is the buoy system from Residio and Eric and I are actually here at the Residio live event. Today's video is sponsored by Residio. Now if you guys don't know his face, it's because you've seen all his awesome plumbing photos <laughs> on Instagram. This is master plumber Eric Ani from mechanicalhub.com and from Instagram. Eric, so good to finally meet you in person, bro. Thank you, man. Super Thank fun. You. Now, Eric, we're talking today about this brand new water device from Residio. So tell me what this thing does. Yeah, so this is called the buoy. So it's a whole home water control that will actually do automatic shutoff and manual shutoff and monitoring of your water usage. Okay. It's a smart device, so it actually learns different water signatures in your home based off of different kinds of usages, different uh, applications, different you know appliances, things like that. So instead of just a traditional shut off that you're gonna turn off before you go on vacation, this is gonna actually go on your house on your main water line coming in somewhere yeah. before you get to your first shut off even probably. Remember there's probably a shut off before this. But the idea is this little computer in here can control the water flow in your house, right? Yeah, so inside this device is actually an industrial grade water meter and some electronics and things that are gonna, that will operate for years and years and years. Gotcha. And it does go on the main line coming in. And, okay. You know, in some climates it can actually be outside, believe it or not. I'm not used to that because I'm from Minnesota. <laughs> we have basements, everything's buried way deep yeah, into the in the ground. in Texas we could probably put this outside. Where yeah, else? It, I guess you can. Yeah. It's also battery operated. So it's got a battery in it that lasts a year, wow. they're telling us, which is pretty crazy. Okay, now this thing's Wi-Fi enabled too, right? So it's it's not just a standalone device, it's actually communicating with you, is that right? Yeah, so they have a new app, Residio does, that's gonna incorporate all of their smart home products and the buoy. And it'll even, this buoy will even talk to other devices in the home, like the water leak detectors. Ah, okay, so tell me a couple scenarios that this might be helpful, let's say, uh, you have a shutoff valve on your, or a, uh, a hose on your washer that blows while you're gone. Would this thing be able to stop that or know what's going on? Yeah, so it's gonna be a sudden change in, in you know, what it's used to seeing in the system. Mm -hmm. It can automatically shut off because it's gonna try to, you know, keep from damaging your home by flooding. Gotcha. Uh, in normal operation though, let's say, you know, everybody's around, it knows you're using water, nothing's too crazy and you use some sprinklers outside mm -hmm. and that's you know a fair amount of water all of a sudden that's not used to seeing it'll actually notify you and say hey should we turn the water off or you know is this okay got it so and there's you, an automatic or a manual mode really yeah so it's gonna learn from you as long as you're interacting with the app as well that's pretty cool what if you had a toilet that had a flapper that wasn't seated well and was continually draining and filling. Oh, and like filling. in every single home? I mean, in, that's you know, thousands of gallons. Yeah, so this is gonna actually notify the home or homeowner and say, hey, you think there's a leak in your system, you need to have it checked out. Call your plumber, you know, check your toilets, things like that. And that's it, pretty it awesome. Can, and then at that time, they could say, no, shut the water off, I'm not sure what it is. Now you mentioned the water leak detector that works in tandem with this on the app. The ones that I've seen, it's like a battery with a, some kind of Wi-Fi controller and then a wire uh, that's going to sense water. What kind of what kinds of things could that help you with? Yeah, so you know they, those types of the water leak detectors have to be where the water is at in order for you to know that there's a leak, right? Gotcha. Uh, but as a plumber, I've used them in different ways. You put them by the sump pump mm -hmm. in case the sump pump fails. Ah. Uh, you could put them by a floor drain in the case of a basement like we have in Minnesota if you've got a sewage backup. Uh, so if your main sewer backed up, it has nothing to do with your water line coming in, but you get an alert, hey, I got water by the sewer line. Yeah, HVAC equipment with the drain pans, yeah. all different types of applications. Condensate overflow, that yep. kind of stuff. Exactly. That's really smart. Good stuff, man. Guys, if you're not following Eric, you need to be following him. Everybody needs a wise master plumber who can give you <laughs> advice. For instance, you know, I mainly know Eric through Instagram. I posted a picture, I'm a huge plumbing nerd, I posted a picture a couple days ago of some PEX in my attic that uh, the insulation had shrunk back and I said, oh, this is a great example of insulation shrinkage. And the first thing that Eric said to me today was, are you sure that was insulation shrinkage? It might be. It might have been your PEX expanding because of the temperature differential up in your attic. So when <laughs> PEX is heated, especially half inch PEX, which we use for almost everything, yeah. water distribution, when you heat it within certain temperature parameters, it can grow over like 100 feet. 
it can grow like nine inches long. Wow. It's crazy, right? So a 30 foot run, you might get you know three inches of movement where that pipe's expanding three inches and all of a sudden my insulation now, where I had a nice joint on that insulation yeah. is separated. Yeah. That's exactly what I saw. I had no idea that was a possibility. That's why you need to follow <laughs> a smart guy like Eric on Instagram to get that kind of knowledge. Man, that's such good stuff. How can people find you, Eric? Uh, you can find me on my website, mechanical-hub.com or on Instagram, Mechanical Hub. All right, so last question then. In, in that case, how should I be insulating? You know, I'm typically trying to insulate my hot water lines. I'm using a lot of PEX, sometimes Vega, sometimes Upinor. What can I do in the future to make sure that doesn't happen where I've got that big break in my insulation? Yeah, well, so we've moved to a different product altogether by those manufacturers. We use Upinor in my business. We also use Vega on occasion. Okay. They both offer pre-insulated PEX. In Free rolls. insulated packs. Yeah. So it's a continuous insulation all you know on the entire roller tube. Uh, so you get a hundred foot roll of red PEX pipe and the roll already has the insulation a hundred foot long. Yeah, so you you eliminate all those seams, all those little short pieces of insulation. Smart. Which basically doesn't do you any good any, in the first yeah, place if yeah. there's all those breaks and yeah. openings. You're not taping seams. Yeah, like you're that. not getting the real insulation value if you have all those breaks in the seams. Yeah. So now, yeah, you can just buy the tubing with the insulation on. Good stuff, man. You gotta follow Eric. Hey, I forgot to mention, any idea on what this buoy system is going to cost? Well, so you're going to buy, you're going to contact a professional plumber okay. to have this installed. It's available now, and you could probably expect it to cost around eight to twelve hundred dollars. Okay. Of course, that's going to be different for. And that's an install price too, right? Install. Yeah, depending on where you're on the country, of course. Yeah. Man, Eric, I really appreciate it, dude. I appreciate it. We've got more coming up from this Residio Live event. Uh, so stay tuned for some more videos about some other Residio stuff going on, but make sure you follow Eric. Super smart dude. If you're not currently a Build Show subscriber, hit that subscribe button. We've got new content every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, otherwise we'll see you next time on Build Show. Nice.